Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to Mr. 3D. So in today's video I'm gonna be showing you an amazing add-on known as physical starlight and atmosphere which lets you create amazing atmosphere in Blender with procedural nodes. So without any further ado let's jump straight into this video. So if you would like to get this add-on you can follow the link in the description which will bring you right here and from here you can grab it. It comes with a lot of customizations and presets and also it works with both EV and Cycles render engine. You can come up here and you can read more about it. They have physical open waters add-on and physical celestial objects which lets you create planets in Blender. And if you would like to get all of these three add-ons they are very cheap together so make sure to get this bundle right here. Alright so with all that being said let's dive into Blender and see this in action. So first up all you have to do is to go over to edit preferences all the way over to add-ons and go right over here click on install from disk and just locate the zip file wherever you have downloaded once you locate it it will come up right here make sure to check this box to enable it once you do that you can just save preferences and now you can close it so to enable it all you have to do is to press n key on your keyboard and here you can see that we have the new atmosphere panel right here click on it and then you have to click on add atmosphere now we have to change to rendered view and now here you can see that we have beautiful sky with clouds. First we have presets panel. You can choose any preset from here from earth 1, earth 2, earth 3 with different sky settings. You can have hay summer presets. Maybe if you want Mars you can have that right here and you can see how beautiful it is. Then you have Nashita and it will probably look way better if you have a beautiful scene. And next up we have the retro wave. And this is also a beautiful preset. Then we got last three ones which is the Tetoni, Thick Fog and Thick Haze. These are the presets you get but if you want to make your own custom preset then all you can do is you can customize these settings from here and we will go through all of them in this video. But all you have to do is to customize these settings and just click on create new preset or if you want to save to the selected preset then just click on save. But when you click on create new, this will let you name the preset and you can just save it to whatever you want. We'll do that later in this video too. So first up, I'll just change it to maybe Earth 3. All right. Now this is the preset we are choosing and now we are going to customize it even further. And I will tell you how all the settings work. All right. First we have sun where you can see that we have horizontal position of the sun and the vertical position which just lets you control the cycle between day and night and you can come to night and you can see that how beautiful it looks and the transition is amazing then you have night sky with these beautiful stars and the atmospheric effect and then you have the sun disk let me just move it back up then we have the sun disk which shows the sun then we have sun lamp and i think it isn't doing anything right here or am i not seeing it but it is there for something all right then we have the sun angular diameter which lets you control the size of the sun let's say you are making a sci-fi movie or sci-fi animation and you want the sun to be bigger to make it feel like we are close to sun or something like that you can do that right here or if you want to increase the temperature of the sun lamp you can do that right here so this sun lamp temperature controls the effect of it on the atmosphere then you have the intensity so if i increase the temperature you can see how it's changing our atmosphere from yellowish to bluish next we have the binary sun option which lets you add secondary sun if you have studied about space then you probably know that there are some planetary systems with binary suns and you might have seen them in sci-fi movies as well so here you can control the position the distance and the temperature the size of the binary sun right here all right next up we have atmosphere in here you will see that we have density scale height intensity night intensity and the scattering color right here you have my scattering intensity and anastrophe you can just play around with it and change it to your liking so here we have the density of the atmosphere you can increase this to make it look a bit dense atmosphere so you can choose to create any type of environment you want then you have the height scale which just lets you adjust i think the position of the clouds and we will go to the clouds section later too 
and you can change the intensity from here let's say it's 1 to 0 and so on and so forth well this is way too much so tweak this to your liking and get the results you want and then you have the night intensity and we will have to go to the night to view this i don't see any difference of the night intensity here but maybe it's there for something as well next up we have colors scattering colors you can change them right here to whatever you want like that then you have the in scattering and you can change the color as well you have absorption you can change it right here and as i said earlier you have my scattering right here i think it is for the sunlight scattering which is anastrophe that's it for the atmosphere let's move to the stars section so here we get three options two options actually one is procedural and one is texture based and the third you have none if you want no stars you can just choose this option right here so first one which gives us customizations such as the radiance intensity to increase the intensity of the stars i'll change back to where it was then you have the radiance gamma which just changes the brightness of the stars you have star amounts if you want too many stars you can increase it then you have star scale so you can increase or decrease the scale of the stars as well you have star seed if you want them to be a bit more randomly positioned you can select it here and lastly we have star temperature from minimum to maximum temperature you can select it right here and this temperature is the temperature of the color let's say if you are at 4k kelvin it will be a warm color and this one will be a bluish color so you get it and next we have the texture option which lets you import the black and white image to control the stars location and you can either create one in blender or you can open your own texture and you probably know that we work on roughness texture in the shader editor like you can say it's a mask texture so you can mask the areas where you don't want the stars to appear you can open it right here it's simple and easy and then you have these controls here as well that is it for the star section and now we are moving on to clouds so first we have procedural where we can just increase the scale of the clouds maybe even the thickness you can slowly see how they are looking then you can increase the detail of the clouds dimension maybe you want more scattered or more smooth you can just control it right here and now you can just control the lacinarity and uh, next up we have the minimum and the maximum coverage so you can increase the coverage of the clouds too you have light scattering through the clouds and you can play with all of these settings position and rotation you can even animate the clouds and these will look very beautiful and nice so here I'll just move the location right here. So here I'll just give you a bit of animation demo. I'll just go over to one, press I and it will just add a keyframe. Then I will also change the rotation to zero and I will press I and it will add a keyframe. Then I will go at the end, change it to about maybe 100 degrees here and 100 here. Then I will press I and it will add the keyframe of the rotations right here and same for the location and I will just press I again and there you see now you can see that the clouds are moving and they are randomly appearing it just looks realistic isn't it and if you are doing this on a beautiful scene then it will look amazing. that is it and i think the coverage is too much so we can decrease it right here and we can also animate the coverage of the clouds all right so here we also have the texture option and just like i mentioned earlier about the stars you can also choose to mask out the sky area or maybe you want some text appearing as clouds you can do it right here next up we have the object folk let me just reset this preset back to where it was originally. So what this object fog does is that it applies the materials to all the objects in the scene to have a bit of fog to it. Currently I'm not in a scene so that's why you won't see it right here but it definitely adds a bit of realism to your scene. 
next up we have ground and basically this is the ground right here so you can change the color of it you can offset it just like that and if you want a bit more room right there maybe if you're making big scenes if you need it you have this option right here and lastly we have artistic controls and so it adds atmospheric distance right here and you can see how good it looks the fall off then you have the sun radiance gamma like how much it is affecting the atmosphere so if you lower it down you can see that the clouds are getting whitish meaning the sunlight is passing through those clouds very beautiful and nice add-on to have and of course as i said earlier that i will be showing you how you can create your custom presets so i'll just move this right here maybe i'll change some colors to these and now it's super easy and simple once you have customized everything click on create new and name it whatever you want so i will just go with new mr 3d preset that's it and now you can see that it is here in the presets list you can select any of the presets and come back to where you were so very easy very handy to work with Here's how it looks in Cycles. So I have changed it to Cycles with GPU, RTX 3060 Ti and it is almost real time and very responsive. Let's go through a few presets and see them in the Cycles render view. Quick and easy to work with, awesome. If you are interested in getting this add-on, the link to Physical Starlight and Atmosphere is in the description below. That's been it. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video or you found it useful, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.